Hi, welcome to the Audacious Founder YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about blowing smoke up your ass. And just so that we're clear, this is not some weird ayahuasca ceremony type thing. Um, I'm merely talking about you getting comfortable with everything that you can do in your life, with you getting comfortable with how awesome and amazing you are. Ugh, it sounds so cheesy actually as I'm saying it. But the point of this is we forget how important it is that we are our own biggest cheerleaders. In order to have a business, and this channel is for people that have a business already or are wanting to start a business, if you have a business, you have to get super comfortable with blowing smoke up your own ass. You have to sell yourself because nobody else is going to see your vision, is going to care about your business as much as you. So you need to be the one that can sell your business to investors, to customers, to members, whatever. You can't do that if you can't talk about how great you are and how great your business is. So you need to get super, super comfortable with blowing smoke of your own ass. We're taught to be modest. We're taught to be kind of behind the scenes. Yeah, like my business is so great, but you know, like we have, I do this too. I do this all the time where I'm like, this is awesome, but there are all these other things that I need to do. And actually I need to stop doing that. I need to be like, fuck yeah, this is awesome. Fuck yeah, I'm an amazing business owner and I'm gonna take this business to the moon. I'm gonna take it so far and I'm gonna make it so big and so successful. Get comfortable with talking so much positive shit about yourself. One of the PR people that we have, the reason that I've hired her is because she's able to talk up so many of the things that I'm doing and I have a hard time doing that sometimes. I have a hard time because I'm in it. I see all the issues. I see all the problems. I see all the ways that we're not reaching the potential that I see in my mind. But other people don't see that vision. Other people don't know the standard at which I'm trying to reach and trying to get to. So all they see is what's already been manifested and created. And for you to talk them out or for me to talk them out of seeing that in the best light is just self-sabotage. Realism is good knowing that, okay, yes, I'm here at this point and there's still so much to learn. That's fantastic. And, and investors do want to know that sometimes. Investors want to know that there's room for improvement and that um, you know I'm acknowledging this weakness that I have so that I can find solutions in other areas for that. However, investors don't want to know how you know there could be a better operator for your business. Like they want to believe in you and in order for them to believe in you, you have to believe in yourself. Again, one more time, get comfortable with blowing smoke up your own ass. How do you do this? How do you get comfortable with this? How do you get comfortable talking about how awesome and great and fantastic your product and you are? Okay, fine, it's practice. It's practice, of course, it's habits. You have to create these habits. You have to do it over and over and over and over until it becomes natural. But a couple tips that I can give you to help you get more comfortable with this are, first of all, you have to be aware of the negative things that you're telling yourself. Um, am I constantly telling myself that my product is not good enough? Am I constantly telling myself that I myself am not a good enough leader? Um, am I constantly telling myself that, oh my God, you know, even though we've come this far, we still have so much more work to do that everything that we've accomplished so far is meaningless. These are the things that we tell ourselves. These are the things that we're, we're trying to motivate ourselves with a little bit, but they actually do the opposite. They actually reduce our excitement, reduce our passion, and make us feel really shitty. And we don't even realize that we're doing it because it's all subconscious. It's all going in here, and we're so used to it, we're so programmed with it, that we're never gonna be good enough, uh, that we don't even notice that we do it. Oh my God, you know, like, you made a bad decision that day. You shouldn't have, do, you're, you're, you sh you're not qualified to be the boss. You're not qualified to run this business. There's no way that you're gonna make this business successful. I mean, these are shit that we tell ourselves. And the point of learning to blow smoke up your own ass is that you should not be saying these things to yourself because there's already enough haters and competition and bullies out there that are gonna say those things for you. You don't need to say a single bad thing 
to yourself. You need to be saying the opposite. You need to drown yourself in positive um, affirmations. Drown yourself in positive motivational quotes or, or, or just statements that you're telling and feeding yourself. I'm gonna repeat it. Haters, bullies, people that are your competition trying to bring you down, that is going to be there no matter what. Those people are going to say enough negative shit about you and to you and about your business that you absolutely should not be saying a single negative thing to yourself. You can be realistic, you can know where your weaknesses lie and where you need to improve, but you don't need to talk down to yourself. You don't need to tell yourself you're not qualified, you're an idiot, you're not smart enough for this. Don't do it, don't do it. So be aware of the negative talk that you are telling yourself. Get aware with, get aware of it. Like focus on it. Whenever you sort of have a thought like that, you need to catch it. You need to catch it and then you need to toss it out of your mind. And you need to then replace it with something positive, a positive affirmation. And this is something that you can maybe like, just get a piece of paper, get a journal, get something and just physically start to write down the things that you want to be, the things that you want other people to say about you, um, the things that you want to accomplish. I've made my 15 businesses crazy successful. I am the best boss that there could ever be. I am constantly growing and learning. Start telling yourself all the things that you want to be the reality. And that will slowly start to seep into your subconscious. It will slowly, as those negative things come into your head, as you switch them to something positive, it will slowly start to reprogram your subconscious to automatically think those positive things. The other thing is that, especially when you're having conversations with people, if you're gonna do a presentation, if you're going to meet with an investor, if you're gonna do a YouTube video promoting your service or your product or yourself, whatever it is, remind yourself of why you're doing it. Remind yourself, why am I doing this thing? So often we get bogged down in paying the bills, dealing with employees, dealing with silly little issues, not silly, serious issues that come up dealing with all of the moving parts of running a business that we just lose touch with our why, why we started it, what the purpose is, reminding ourselves of why we're doing it and why it's important to us, it reignites that passion, it reignites those values. Um, I'm doing this because it's going to make this person's life 10 times better. I'm doing it because it's gonna make this person, when they eat this product, they are going to feel joyful. Um, it's gonna remind them of home, it's gonna make them feel warm and cozy, and for just that brief moment, they are going to feel happiness. Um, so then when you go to meet with that investor, when you go to sell your product to those clients, that's the energy that you're gonna give off. You're gonna give off that energy of, this is why I'm doing this. This is why you need this product. And if I believe in it so strongly, then that person will too. Figure out and become aware of what your negative talk is that you're telling yourself about yourself, about your business, about your competition. Maybe you keep telling yourself that your competition is better than you. Then replace it. Fucking replace it. Like, stop being modest, stop being scared, stop being like, you know, whatever. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. You are the person that should be your biggest fan. Nobody else is gonna think you're the shit if you don't think you're the shit. So figure out a way to start telling yourself things that make you think you're the shit. Remind yourself constantly, whether it's every day in the morning or whether it's before you have important meetings, Remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing, why it's important, and who else is benefiting from it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it kicked you in the butt a little bit. If you have any questions, if you have any thoughts that you'd like to share with me, I'd love to hear them. Please contact me at Audacious Founder on Instagram or on our website, theaudaciousfounder.com. Um, and if you have not subscribed to this channel already, please do so and please share it with all your friends. Thank you so much. See you soon.